How was the? Uh, Ask one of the other. How was Quincy's mom's Thanksgiving? Awesome, man. Um, the stuffing, the mac and cheese, the turkey, the sweet potato pie, the pecan pie, seven up cake, man. I'm, I can keep going for days, man. It was it was, it was unbelievable. So so that made up for not being invited to LeBron's big thing in Akron. I don't know what he had, but it was just, it was about us, <laughs> pretty much. You know, um, we definitely threw down. Is there a, is this, I guess this is the one situation where, you know, coming off of a, a night like this where, you know, could you catch them on a full stomach, I guess, in, this, in that sense? Um, I don't know. Like, we're not pretty much, you know, worried about their full stomach or whatever. <laughs> we're pretty much <laughs> worried about we need, what we need to do to come out and play hard and win this game tonight. How significant, though, in all seriousness, how significant was that game against the Nets to proving to you guys Keeping how how important it is to keep that intensity level up. You're not going to do it for 48 minutes, obviously. We need to. We definitely need to. Um, you know, the game was was basically on us, and it was in our hands. And it, uh, unfortunately, it came down to that that one shot. But during the the first half and the second half, you know, what I mean, it definitely could have made a difference if we would have played that full full 48. So. Have you been watching video of that? Uh, absolutely. Um, you know, we watch video of our, our, uh, all the games we play, and um, there's a, there's a, a lot of room for improvement, and we definitely do that during practice. The consensus from teammates, coaches, w was all we want Amir to take that shot. That's a shot he can um, take. It was it was, um, it was an open shot. You know, it was uh, it was a great play. Um, it was a wide open shot. It was uh, unfortunately it was uh, short. You know, so does it does it help to have the confidence of, of all those guys to say that that that's a shot that they they want you to take? I mean, it definitely uh, it definitely makes you better. And um, you know, you have to you have to go through something. You know, what I mean, to get better. You know, and the next time it'll definitely go in. What's the recipe for success tonight against the Heat? We know it was a close matchup last time. LeBron had a big game. So what do you guys want to change from the last way you guys played? Um, you know, just just to play a hard uh, full 48. Um, we know what LeBron likes to do. You know, the, the focal point is going to be on him. Um, we might throw different looks at him on defense, um, double team, and, um, and just basically play hard. What do you think, Demar? I mean, we just gotta worry about us at the end of the day. Go out there, play hard, play basketball like we know how to play, basically. Coach was saying that this team, he, he'll get a sense of what the identity is by game 20, which isn't too far away. I mean, do you agree with that? Do you see the yeah. thing? We figure it out every day. It's an everyday process that, you know, we figuring out, trying to get better at, um, learning from all the mistakes that we make in game, and trying to correct them in practice, and then shoot around, you know, and, and put it all together. You know, tonight would be a great test, test for us to pull all that together and, you know, be victorious with it. One thing I wonder is, after a game like you had against the Nets, and not just to harp on that, but I know this team is constantly growing and trying to find its identity still under Coach Casey. I mean, even though he's been here for a while now, does that ever get frustrating? And how do you keep yourself from getting too disappointed that you guys aren't where you think you should need to be? I mean, we haven't even played 20 games yet. You know, we're still in a great position being in the East. You know, Number so one in our conference. Too, so. I mean, you 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 can't be too frustrated and we know we we're not playing our best basketball and our best basketball will come you know once that come you know it really be a, a difference and it, it definitely be shown so you really can't you know be be too too down because we're still in a great situation you know um, better than what we was last year so you know you can't complain too much we just got to continue to keep working and you know pull out these close wins that we keep putting ourselves in how important is it to know that you guys are first right now I mean, it, it definitely it, it feels good, but we, we still know we need improvement, you know, and um, you, you can't really put a stamp on anything. You know, we have a, a long way to go. And, um, like I said, there's it, definitely room for improvements, and we definitely going to get those games we're supposed to win. The Heat are one of two teams in the East over 500. Both of those teams are the two that have seemingly been together the longest. Is there something to be said about having that familiarity of being around each other now in Miami, those three for, for as long as they have? I mean, it, it always play a, a big part in it, and and having, you know, the same chemistry for years. You know, look at us. You know, we the only two left here from within the last five years. So you know, that says a lot. You know, we had different teammates that we had to adjust with every year, and they're gone. We got new players coming in that we had to adjust to, the different styles, different, you know, everything that we had to adjust to. So this time around, you know, we still figuring it out now, and you know, we we. At the end of the day, we all in it together, man. We're going to pull, pull through whatever adversity that we get ourselves into. So, 
Is, do we make too much of a game games like this against the the big three? I mean, do we make I too mean, much of it, or do you guys actually say, you know, this is this is kind of the landmark kind of games? Like again, I mean, we we look forward to games like this, but it don't matter who we play. We can play the Monstars or <laughs> or a, a Park and Rec team, man. We got to go out there with the same attitude, night in and night out. You know, that's how I look at it, and that's how we all looking at it. But we, we we know they're you know they're the champions, and um, we want what they want. You know what I mean? So we we go out there and we're. we're my term is is to like go out there and kick their butt. So, do you guys feel like leaders, like as, as like to your point about being here the longest, you're starting to feel like you guys have, despite your ages, really are becoming the leaders on the team. I mean, you had no choice but to, you know, especially being in the situations we've been in, being, you know, I think adversity helped you grow as a man. You know, we've been through that a lot, and that definitely helped us grow mentally, and and physically, um, on a, from a basketball standpoint. Just, just having the years of, of being in the league so long, so it definitely helps you be more vocal and uh, have more knowledge, you know, you know, of the game. So, is Coach Casey leaning on you? Think a little, a little bit more. This, do you feel? Generally? Um, I, I, I definitely think he, he, he knows, um, you know, the players that have been here longer, and he um looks for us to you know, to be more vocal and, and be more talkative and, and control the game on the on the court. Mar, you came into the season uh, almost promising to prove that you, you've become a, a threat and you've worked hard on that three-point shot from behind the arc. Uh, you, you've been shooting the ball really well from, from that area recently. It, do, do you feel like you've started to, to prove what you, what you were looking I mean, to? Come you don't season? understand. I, I just didn't shoot threes before. Yeah. You know, so everybody started to make a big deal of it. I always know I could shoot threes. It never was me going in gym like, damn, I can't make three. It's, it's not, that was never the case. I just never shot them. You know, it was just me now, they needed me to shoot threes for the offense to spread out the offense. All right, I'm going to do that. Whatever they need me to do, that's what I'm going to do. You know, I'm going to work hard on my game regardless. You know, I, you know, it just it just get frustrating when people say you can't do something when you know you can. Sometimes you just got to show them. So, so not that you could. Whatever you're thinking, what sort of encouraged you to make it a focus? Yeah, I just never. I just well, never. My, my question is like, why? If you weren't saying, well, I can't shoot that, right. what encouraged you to, to focus on hey, Anybody who say I can't do something, <laughs> basically, it's, if somebody say I can't do something, I'm proving they wrong, right. period. Who ate more yesterday? Um, I think everybody had their portions. And, um, he did. I, <laughs> <laughs> I took home, like, at least, like, seven to go plates, you know what I mean? So... Um, Going on the road on Monday, are you going to have time to eat it all? I don't know, man. I just took food was so good. I had to just make sure you remember it and, and savor it. So I took like seven. One of you guys no has a thing in our life? No, don't come to my house. <laughs> <laughs> I'll tell you that. I ain't got nothing for you. <laughs> nothing but baking soda, probably, and some water. Right? No, we go to dinner or something. Everywhere we go, we always tend to go to dinner. 